Hello my winged pterodactyl. As you know, I, as you know, I took a break for like a little week because I've been posting videos every week since like the beginning of the year and a little before that. So I just want to take a little break and just chill down for a bit because you know I started school so I just wanted to chill for a week. So I'm back and in, the, in that week I managed, I managed to steal three babies, um, get drunk zero times, learn the song of time, and many other things that involve sexual stuff. I know what you are thinking. Where the hell is his hair? Well, as you all know, I gave my hair to the Dumbledore Association. If you, if you don't know that, the Dumbledore Association is when you shave your hair. It's when you cut off your hair and you give it to Dumbledore. Because you know that nigga has a big beard? So you give it to his beard and then he wears it. He dyes it gray and then he puts it on. And then he lives happily ever after. If you don't know who Dumbledore is, this is Dumbledore, the sexy motherfucker. And that is beard, you see that beard? Some of my hair is on that beard. Okay, you know that. In all seriousness, as you all know, I cut my hair and I cut it to a good length. I like how it's like right now. So yeah, I just needed a change so my hair was like super duper long. I felt like Medusa or like I was carrying pubes all over my hair. So I just decided to cut it and I love it. Oh my God, guys, like something like huge is happening, like humongous as big as medusa's feet as big as snooki's hair it's as big as peter pan when he goes to the restroom and he can't find soap it's 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 it <sighs> i'm not wearing a sweater i'm always wearing a sweater that one gray sweater that i have that's probably like twenty thousand years old right back then before dumbledore was born but yeah so I'm deciding not to wear start today, because thug life. Now you live the thug life every day. Oh, you're still here after I said that. Well, okay, what's wrong with you? Okay, let's get this started, shall we? But this is gonna be a video about stuff that make me mad. And there's like a bunch of stuff that make me mad, but I just picked a little bit of the stuff because whoo, this video will be like how long? How long is the limit? The first thing that makes me mad is my neighbor's weekly parties. My neighbors are like some party poopers, I mean not party poopers, some party bombers and they're freaking throwing parties every weekend, every single weekend with their high ass DJs and bumping music and crap. So it gets me mad because I'm just trying to like relax on a fucking Saturday and Sunday and just like, <sighs> ah, what a relaxing weekend. What? Music? What? It's really six. Six o'clock! No! No! No music! No! This is my weekend! You motherfuckers! This is my weekend! I'm supposed to enjoy this weekend! No! Ah, oh God! I guess I'll have to deal with this. What a crappy weekend. Why can't I be adopted? Just leave. I can't just live in a box. I live in a box. I should live in a box. I will live in a box. Noise. What is that music? Music at this hour? What time? It's 11:30 p.m. Why are they playing music this loud? Seriously, I'm trying to sleep here. <sighs> what? Oh, what? It's been two hours. They think. What? It's 1.30 in the morning. And why did the music get louder? And why am I still awake? Why? Why are they having a party on a Sunday? This is getting ridiculous. It is 5.30 in the morning. What are they doing at this time partying? What would they be doing? Getting, taking their tops off? Getting naked? S s drinking body shots off of each other? They're a family party. It was just a little... How could they have so much fun? There wasn't even a jumper. I'm through with this shit. Uh, Calling the cops. Still not you guys understand why my neighbors are annoying. <laughs> it's like 3am and they're partying. Maybe 
4 a.m. I have no freaking idea. I'm asleep or trying to sleep. So, and like, you can party your tits off every freaking weekend. I've tried it by myself with no friends. Just me and my stuffed animals. It's pretty fun. Another thing that makes me mad is when people use the term jelly. Jelly to call themselves jealous. You know? You know that term? Term made by sandwich people? Yeah. That's the term that I refer to. I refer, I refer to those people as sandwich people. Because, yeah, they look nothing like sandwiches. They are no sandwiches at all. But they talk like they're sandwiches. Like, hey dog, let's go jelly, let's go peanut butter some people. I don't know. But it's like something like that. And I do not like that. It annoys me so much when people use the word to term jelly. And I just want to like smash their faces or something. I don't know. Because there's many reasons why you should never, ever, ever use that fucking term. Because one, you are not purple and creamy. Two, you are not in a bottle. And three, you clearly do not look like this. If you look like this, then okay, I'll understand. I'm jelly. But no, you don't. You look nothing like this. Do you look something like this? No, you don't. Do you? Do no, no. It just no. It just does not work at all. No. Look, look. No, 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 no. People who say that just need to like jump off a cliff, but don't die because I, like, I care about people. Yes, you jump off a cliff to be saved by like an angel or something. Because I love you guys and don't want you guys to die, but still, do not use that term. And that is all for this episode. But. I promise you guys, I will give you guys a video number two explaining more stuff because this video was only two and that's crap, I know. But I'll give you guys a new video next time, I promise. I just have something to show you guys and it is this. I finally got it in the mail. It's all one through eight films of Harry Potter. I got it and I'm very excited. I've watched only one because I'm watching it with my girlfriend, all eight of them, because you never watched them. I'm watching with her, and it just makes me so excited. Got me so excited, so very, very excited. Man, it makes me want to dance. Dance everywhere. Dance. Just dance. Dance like crazy. Dance. You know? You know what I mean? You wanna know? You know? You wanna see what I mean? Con los terroristas! <laughs> Hail to the fucking no. As much as I love that video, I just cannot do that video. Because I just have no friends. I have no friends. And my Harlem Shake way would consist of me and probably like my plastic animal. I mean my, me and my stuffed animals because that's all I have. And it would go something like this. They do the Harlem Shake. That was, that was terrible, wasn't it? I think I should leave now before anything more weird happens. But yes, that, that's how my Harlem Shake would be like. And that tired me out. And with that being said. Thanks. If you like this video, you can subscribe, you can like, you can tell it to your friends, you can send it to your mom, and make her be like, what the fuck, that I'm raping animals. But there is one video that is the bestest one I've seen, and it is this one. Con los terroristas. And no animals or no stuffed animals or harm in the making of this video. Fair winds.